don't worry about the next, cause it's your boy Chris with an X. Alright, so today I wanted to talk about the whole Cat Williams and that 17th, uh, that 17 year old that's in the damn 7th grade. Now when I was 17 years old, I was in a 12th grade, almost leaving a high school. But um, first things first, you know, I did a video on can you be successful in the hood is very recent and the, in this um, in this instance this just proves what I, I said you can't be successful in the hood because people are always gonna try to try you now the whole media is trying to make Cat Williams seem like he was crazy because they saw the um, little seven minute snapchat video although I do feel like Cat Williams do need some type of help Maybe you need somebody to restore him back to what he used to be. I do feel like he was doing a good deed. He was hundred. He was handing out a hundred dollar bills in the hood. Now you can't even. You can't even give a mother. You can't get a nigga to give you one dollar. Let alone a hundred dollars. And he didn't even have his bodyguards, and he was just happy to be there. And that little um, nigga gnat. And I will explain what a nigga gnat is. A gnat is a thing that keeps that black thing that keeps flying in your face until you smack it well that's what he is a nigga net you know you have a lot of these people because he has nothing to lose this is why if you live in the hood if you got um, if you have something to live for if you have something gone for you then you got to get out and then you, you got to stay away from those people because some of these people have nothing to lose have nothing to live for so they'll just be like fuck it you know I'm gonna go try something stupid and it, yeah Cat Williams did lose the fight, but he still has my respect, you know. I feel like a lot of people, you know, just jump to conclusions, first of all. Second of all, I feel that, um, what was I going to say? A lot of people do jump to a lot of conclusions. You know, they wasn't seeing the good that he did. All I could focus on is, you know, oh, he lost the fight. First of all, why is that kid 17 in the seventh grade? That's what we should be looking for. Because this, um... Because when I was going to school, we still had a lot of uh, smart ones, but it was starting to go down. Now LAUSD or whatever state he was in, it's starting to go even more down. A lot of these kids do not have um, hope and focus. You know, they're too busy trying to clown, too busy trying to worry about what Lil Wayne and everybody else is doing, and not focusing on what they're supposed to be doing. And I feel that as, um, as a person, as a black person, you know, they need, you know, we need more people, you know, we need more parents to be up front and center and get their kids in check. Because nowadays we got kids raising kids. We don't have no more traditional parents. We have a lot of kids raising kids. And on top of that, I feel that as if they, you know, Cat Williams, you know, he does need to, you know, get to back to what he needs to get to because we all know sometimes Hollywood, a lot of times Hollywood builds you up just to tear you down. A lot of people like to see, ooh, yeah, you know, look at that person. They used to be on top. Now they has been. Now they washed. Instead of trying to restore that person. Because a lot of white, not always, but a lot of white people, you know, they restore whoever they like. So as black people, we should restore who we, you know, find entertaining too. Or just people in the community in general. And, you know, I don't mean to sound old school, because I'm, you know, I'm 25, so I'm still young. But I'm still young enough, and I'm wise enough to know that as a kid, you need, you know, some kids cross the MF line. You know, as, you know, we never really raised our fists. Or we did, some of us did talk back, you know. I do feel like it is a child should re respect their elders but I do feel like elders is vice versa because some adults do try to disrespect the hell out of the kids but again I feel as you know these kids nowadays are quick to test anything you know they, they um, Cat Williams is like 40 years old and that kid is 17 what is you doing trying to fight take on Cat Williams now yeah you know he did lose uh, Cat Williams did lose the fight but if that was Mayweather, and you can say what you want about Mayweather dancing, if that was Mayweather, or better yet, if that was T.I., that kid would have been laid out on the ground. He would have been flat ass. His pants would have been laid flat. 
if that um yes if that was Snoop Dogg he would have got handled he would have got checked real quick but um yeah again it was just a time and space that Cat Williams I guess wasn't really swear aware of his surroundings so he was like whatever but yeah you know <laughs> you know as kids I'm seeing a lot of videos where kids is blowing smoke in the teachers faces you know they snatching their teachers wigs off they uh they holding a, a teacher get you know get, get grabbing them by the throat you know where is the discipline where is the uh these parents you know these lazy ass parents first of all how your kid come to school with two hundred dollar shoes you know they floss them with their clothes um they got, got from guests or wherever the hell they got it from but they don't have pen and paper the first and if you living off the if you living off the government if you living off the system then you need your ass whooped because it's no damn shame i mean it's no damn sense that you know these kids have no hope and it started from the home you know you know so yeah these kids have no respect nowadays especially with all these challenges um the knockout challenge or you know or the challenge where you jump in front of the train or you jump on the train tracks and then you wait for the train to come and then for a little bit then you jump off you know something needs to be done about that you know a lot of these kids cross the damn line just like when that father was punching out all them girls he was knocking them left knocking them out left and right trying to help his daughter I commend that because if you bold enough to raise your hand up to adult you're bold enough to get not face the consequences you know a lot of these pe people want to play you know pull different cards once the you know shit backfires on them you know it, it backfired on them girls he was helping out his daughter trying to break up the fight them girls tried to beat the father up and he started knocking him out left and right like of um muhammad ali he was floating like a butterfly and stinging like a bee you know a lot of these kids crossed the damn line so you know that's my whole take on the situation he was doing good h handing out a hundred dollar bills of his money that he didn't when has your favorite rapper i'm not saying rappers don't do it because nelly ever since 2009 i think it is 2005 he's paid two people's uh full tuition to go to school each year and he does um not only that he helped uh, his sister had passed away and he takes care of her kids as long as well as his daughter so nelly always has my respect as a as a rapper and as a human being i mean i'm not a rapper but it, it, him as a rapper and him as a human being because he does do back i mean give back a lot aware as well as others so cat Williams get a hundred dollars like i said who else is going to do that now other people have other ways of helping out but like some people won't most of the people you usually talk about or whatever y'all know what i'm trying to say he gave it a hundred dollars your homie won't even give you a one dollar you know let alone a hundred dollars so i feel like people if you got nigga nats people like that who try to test out other people who are doing good you need to get them in check because they messing up your flow because people are gonna see stuff like this whether they admit it or not but they're gonna be like you know what i'm not gonna help out nobody in the hood you got people like this who are willing to do that when somebody's trying to help out i'm not gonna give back for what some of these people have nothing to lose nothing to live for so what what so what am i gonna do you know why why would i help with that out? why would i restore them people to help when they don't when they don't give up about um getting restored back to health or whatever it is so that's my whole take on the cat williams uh situation any comments questions concerns you know where to leave them uh anything you want to talk about leave in the comment section below um uh yeah i'm, I'm hearing stuff oh uh, probably anyways this has been your boy chris with the next on some Trifling ish, whatever ish. <laughs> Peace.